hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so uh, today we will do configuration of rpvst in uh, aruba cx switches So guys, as you can see, so the second switch has become the root bridge. Okay, all the ports are in the designated role. Okay, since this is an RPVST, if I want uh, uh, the uh, this uh, this switch to become the the first switch to become the root bridge, I can. Uh, uh, reduce the priority on this switch for that uh, specific VLAN for example in our uh, scenario I can say VLAN 10 and this uh, switch can become the root bridge so as of now it's not is not the non it's non root bridge spanning 3 VLAN 10 and I'll reduce the priority to 5 now you guys can see the ports on the second switch will lose their role of designated okay so this switch is acting as a root bridge for VLAN 10 now for VLAN 1 okay in our scenario this is the root bridge 
for uh, for VLAN 1 and this is the root bridge for VLAN 10 now uh, now what if I want the port manipulation see 1 slash 1 slash 1 is the root bridge uh, uh, is the if, uh, the root port okay for this uh, for VLAN 1 but what if I want uh, this port to become the root bridge we can reduce the cost on that interface priority cost say so I'll make it as 5 so lower cost is always preferable VLAN 1 you guys can see this port is now in alternate mode role and this port has become the root port ok now we will check if end to end communication is happening or not So you guys can see the the uh, uh, endpoints are able to ping each other, but I'm not sure why the ping is getting successful. I'll try to give it as a gateway. Mm -hmm. Now we'll try. there might be some issue I'll uh, you know check on this but uh, our concept of uh, RPVST I hope you guys would have understand that uh, part in RPVST okay so stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you